Hello, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I want to talk about Letitia and Letitia's husband. At this point, that man don't even have a name, it seems like. I keep trying to figure out what to call Letitia's husband because his legal name is Keith, but he also goes by Little Mike. And I keep trying to figure out, like, what to call him, but Letitia never calls him by his name. She's just always reminding everybody, that's my husband, that's my husband. So at this point, this man don't even really have a name. So I'm just going to call him Letitia's husband at this point. So Letitia, a few episodes ago, she decided to take her employees out to eat, and they're all having drinks, they're eating, and then all of a sudden, Letitia's talking about her husband, and come to find out, one of her employees used to mess around with her husband like 15 years prior. So so Letitia got a little upset she got a little sassy with her friend and then she went home and called Keith up and was like hey I, did you have you know bang my friend back in the day and Keith was like oh no baby you know that's not my type you don't got nothing to worry about and I wouldn't even be tripping off something like that because you really can't control who somebody was with before you came in the picture especially 15 years prior. The last thing you should do is be bringing up something someone did 15 years ago like I'm not even the same person person I was back then and I'm sure he's the same exact way too. So Letitia after this scene came out she got upset and she took to her Instagram and her Facebook and she said y'all are hilarious. Me and Deanna had this conversation a year before I did the show and laughed about it and became good friends. TV is entertainment did y'all forget which I'm honestly not surprised because I haven't really believed any of Letitia's storyline so far and she doesn't sell it very well and her friends like all sitting at the table it seemed like they already had this conversation before especially if that I was an employee and like you're gonna be on this tv show your bosses and you're gonna take me out to eat and call me out about something I did 15 years prior I would not want to work there anymore especially when she set all her employees down and she's like Hey guys, guess what? My prison husband is going to be your guys' new boss and you guys can either deal with it or you guys can leave. I would have been really pissed off, but I felt like Letitia probably already told her employees like, hey, you know, there's some TV film crew that's going to come in, you know, and I really got to amp it up for the entertainment purposes. So Letitia also decided that she wanted to go see her lawyer in this last episode. So she goes over and she heads over to her lawyer, Arthur, and she wants to get some, I guess, legal business advice from her lawyer about whether or not it's a good idea for her to add her husband onto her accounting business. And the lawyer was like, no, do not pass go, do not collect $200. You need to stop where you're at and you do not need to do that. So her lawyer, Arthur, he was like, okay, well, before we continue this conversation, first, let me figure out what you do for a living. So she explained that she it has a tax business. She's an accountant. So her lawyer was like, no, this is a terrible idea because you have a license and if he does anything at all, then you risk losing your license. And whenever you got your license and became an accountant, you took an oath just like a lawyer, her oath is more strict compared to other professions because she handles people's private information. So she took an oath to protect the people whose information she gets and, you know, everybody that she works with in her business. And her lawyer was like, you know, this is not good. You're taking a huge risk at ruining your business, getting your license stripped from you. And she's like, you know, I just don't feel like it's fair though. And he's like, well, what's fair is irrelevant. He kept it real with her because, you know, you can not feel like it's fair. But at the end of the day, that doesn't matter. If you want to do business, what matters is what your customers think. And you can try to explain to your customers all you want. But your customers are not going to feel safe about some inmate doing their taxes from prison. Like, I don't even trust Letitia doing my cat's taxes at this point. So the lawyer was like, okay, well, what did he go to prison for? She's like, well, it was just drugs. It was nothing dealing with finances. And she also said conspiracy. And she thought, like, it was a drug conspiracy charge. And the lawyer was like, the conspiracy charge has to do with finances. And I'm not sure if it's if she just wants to bring him in as an employee if he has to be licensed as well. But she's trying to talk about bringing him in as a boss on the same level as her. So I would figure 
in order to be in the same position as her, then he would have to get licensed and take an oath as well. And she's just trying to throw him in there without anything. No license. Then when it came out a few weeks ago when Starcasm made the article talking about Letitia's extensive criminal history, like her criminal history is literally longer than her inmate husband's. And she went live defending herself and she said that a lot of the people that she does business for already knows about her past and they're okay with it. But just because they're okay with your past doesn't mean they're necessarily going to be okay with case past, especially if he has conspiracy charges related to financial stuff. Then she said, well, if I don't bring him into my tax and accounting business, how about if I bring him into a trucking business? And I think that's more his speed. I know plenty of felons who work in the trucking business, and it can be very beneficial. And so after the last episode, Letitia was very upset and unhappy with the way she was edited. And she said, my husband is not a part of my accounting firm. He doesn't even want to be a part of it. We actually have a separate business together. The show edited everything out to make it appear differently and unfortunately is out of my control once again it's tv enjoy the entertainment but don't believe everything and monique was actually in the comments on her facebook post about all this and she's like girl don't worry about this i used to be mad every single week when my episodes would come out and Letitia asked her how did monique handle it and monique said that you know, it was hard, but she just waited till the end of the season and then spoke her truth so she wasn't breaching her contract. But here's the thing. My honest opinion, I feel like Letitia is backpedaling now. I, I wouldn't be surprised if some of her clients saw the episode and ended up calling her up and said, hey, I want to make sure that the accounting services I paid you for, they're not being handled by your inmate husband who has conspiracy charges and she probably realized that it could you know potentially affect her business if it hasn't already i think she thought she was going to get on the show she's going to get a lot more business from this you know exposure from them seeing her office and her brand and now this exposure is mainly negative because it's not showing it in a very good light when she's talking about adding her husband to the mix and now she's saying that oh no you know they're just making it look a certain way but you're the one who came to the lawyer and you told the lawyer yes it's accounting and a tax business because i even had to go back and rewatch the episode i'm like am i getting gaslit right now because i was starting to feel like i was crazy because i was like i'm pretty sure this girl told this lawyer what it was for and that she wanted to bring him on the accounting and tax business. And I rewatched it and that is exactly what she said. So if it was a lie, then she told it. Because even the lawyer was saying, you took an oath as a accountant when you got your license. And he said that over and over again. And why would he be talking to her about that if she was talking about the trucking business that she was trying to have? It just doesn't make any sense. Letitia reminds me so much of Ty from the last season of Love During Lockup. But that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I also want to give a shout out to the sponsor Timu. You can use my code FAB. 31796 for 30 percent off your first order check out my patreon where i upload exclusive videos there and my blog according to amber.com but thank you guys for